Hello, everybody. This is Nicole Whitlock with Ecom Sellers, and I have with me today my co-host, my partner in crime, Kelly the Ecom on board. And Kelly and I are here to share with you the e-commerce news, tips, and more. Tonight's tips are going to be on print on demand. But before we get started, we got a little bit of a saga trying to get going. First of all, I bought a new mic, and the mic has been working fine, and then it decided that it wasn't going to let Kelly speak. So now I have to go figure out what's going on with my... We have spent 30 minutes just fussing with this mic to try and get her sound back. (laughs) Something about the mic and this app, which is Melon, which, yeah, I have so many reviews to get from Melon. Anyway, (laughs) (laughs) so me and the Melon app do not get along. But in any case, we are glad that you're here. It is past New Year's, so, you know, we already said Happy New Year's, but we'll say it again. Kelly, do you want to tell everybody Happy New Year's? Happy New Year's! <laughs> and so we're going to get into the e-commerce news, tips, and more, and then we will, after we talk about the tips, sorry, the news, then we're going to go straight into the tips, which is on print on demand. But, um, so Kelly, how was your New Year? How was your Christmas? We haven't talked to you. It was nice. I got to see family, and... um New Year's Eve, I worked. I just worked an extra day because I took off a day earlier in the week for Christmas so to make up time, you know. Didn't want to lose out on money. Um, and then just, it's been, not, I've been, my, my sales have been pretty good. I'm shipping out um, just about, I, this week, I've every platform I've had sales on. Nice. So, yes. Nice. Well, I've been getting sales as well. I've been getting sales on uh, pretty much all the platforms that I'm on, that I'm active on, like some of the platforms I'm not active on right now. And uh, yeah, so I've been experiencing the same thing, which is nice. It's beautiful. It's beautimous. And, uh, you know, trying to get my kids and get us going in the new year. I took my kids out um, to Ikea. We actually went to Ikea to do some planning. They had to get out of the house. Like it was just not going to work out in the house. So <laughs> I got them out of the house and we went to Ikea to do some planning. Gave, give them an opportunity just to walk around and to, you know, just to be able to do something different. And so they took planners and we sat down and we talked about the new year, what the plans were for the new year and what they need to do you know, what we're going to do differently in 2023. So uh, we set out some goals, some objectives for them. I asked them what they wanted to do uh, for the summer and they put together some goals around that. And then I asked them, you know, what sports activities they wanted to get involved in. And we put, we wrote those down so we could do some planning. So we're working on developing the skill of planning. My son does not like it at all. (laughs) He doesn't like it at all. And I also, with my boys, I also scheduled, Um, some time uh, for us to have dinner with other families in the community. And so this is a new thing that we're doing for 2023. And uh, again, he doesn't, uh, he's not a fan of this new activity. He is quite anxious about it because he's scared about, you know, going to having other people come to our house or us going to other people's house and what that's going to look like. So yeah, it's, uh, it's been an interesting discussion to say the least (laughs) to say the least so we have been having lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of fun so anyway with that we're going to get into the e-commerce news i'm gonna let kelly start off with the news and then i will piggyback off of her so kelly the floor is yours all right get my water in one of the things is i'm back to my healthy eating i've already dropped five pounds so Congratulations. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. We'll start with eBay. Um, over 100K sellers on from eBay um, had reached out to their elected officials in 2022. Um, I know eBay was kept on, you know, sending out, had, you know, a banner on their ad about reaching out to your officials about the uh, issues related to e-commerce about, you know, especially the, uh, the $600 threshold tax thing and such. And, you know, but 
over 100k sellers did if you know reach out to their officials and send over 220k tweets and emails and such to their elected officials about those issues and with and how they affect small businesses so you know reaching out may you know could because you know we'll we'll talk about it in a few minutes about how this it was delayed so yeah it might have you know might impact some things mm-hmm. so thanks to all those people who did reach out i heard about that and i think it's around uh releasing information um on your your personal information i think in some of the other countries releasing of the personal information is already happening and weird things are happening like in the uk and other countries and so the fact that this was passed it was signed in the omnibus bill is my understanding and um it means that the information that we will be required or that they're going to share about us as sellers won't be all of our information it will be some generic information So people won't know what your address is or where you live and all that other stuff. But yeah, I did remember hearing about that. All right. Um, Next is Shopify. Shopify is helping sellers advertise on Google and Facebook with a marketing tool that was launched in May called Shopify Audiences. Because, you know, with Shopify, you have to drag your own traffic, not like eBay and Etsy and Amazon where, they already have that traffic there for you with your Shopify stores. You have to drive your own traffic. So this um, marketing tool is supposed to help sellers with that. Um, get, getting that done. Poshmark. Um, Poshmark is giving away 50 K to attract um, new listings so they're gonna give. They're doing a drawing a week, and each uh, once once a week, and they'll have five um, total winners. So one winner a week will win 10k. To enc- you know, and they're is to encourage sellers to list new items, um, not like brand new items, but new listings. Create new listings. Yeah. Create new listings. Um, it's gonna run between January first and February fifth, and so for um. Every time you do a new listing, um, you'll be put into this weekly drawing. And it applies to all newly listed items except copied or duplicated listings. So you just can't copy, duplicate the same listings over and over just to bulk up your uh, entrance into the um, drawing. And they must be marked, the eligible listings must be marked for sale. Drop soon or a reposh. So, you know, hey, that you know, this doesn't get you want to, you know, list on Poshmark to her a chance to win 10K. I mean, that could be a big help in your business, you know. I so, actually got that email for the 10K. Mm-hmm. I got that email. So they're like, Yeah, we need you to list some stuff. And I don't, and I'm I admit it, I don't have anything active on Poshmark right now. So yeah. Nothing is yeah, there. and you know it's not just clothes anymore. You, I sell stuffed animals on there. I sell Christmas ornaments. I've sold, you know, so they have home decor, uh, cookbooks and such. So you, it's not just clothes anymore. They have expanded out to other categories, even electronics and such. So you know, you can really, you know, it's more than clothes now. There you go. Um, Amazon. Amazon's introducing a new metric called potential sales lift um, that rates uh, different areas of uh, of the seller's product detail page and identifies listings that are missing key attributes. And it goes further by showing the sellers how much their sales could increase if they uh, improve the um, listing with the missing attributes. So, you know, maybe you're like, well, this one, there's only going to be an increase of 2% if I, you know, have to add all this stuff, but this one has an increase of maybe 30%. So which one do you want to, you know, focus on, you know? 
There you go. I love it. I do love that. I did see mm -hmm. that. <laughs> so um, this is an interesting. DoorDash is offering package pickup for shoppers that can't or don't want to make the trip to the post office or UPS or FedEx to return packages, items back to their merchants. So they're off they're offering for the their dashers, their drivers to come and pick them up for you for a fee. The fee is five dollars to pick up up to five packages. Or if you're a dash pass dash pat that's can't that's hard to say. <laughs> okay. Dash pass member, it's only three dollars. So mm -hmm. that way, you know, maybe if you're busy and you have, you know, can't have don't have the time to run to the post office or you just don't want to get out. You can pay someone to do it for you. There you go. <laughs> and then um, the IRS is delaying implementing the six hundred dollar threshold for the ten ninety nine Ks. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. but I just want to say that does not mean you don't have to report claim that. your income. <laughs> Please don't make that mistake. Mm -hmm. you know, people are like, I'm going to stop selling at $599. So I don't have to get reported. To you still have to report that. So. Yeah. yeah. Um, and some fun numbers. I know Nicole loves the numbers. <laughs> so for the holiday season, online holiday sales rose 3.5% year over year to 2.5%. You know, two hundred eleven point seven billion, but retailers they're bracing for a tougher year ahead due to inflation worries. But um, shoppers were more uh, frugal this year and were willing to hold out for lower prices. The years before, you know, the last two years before, you know, when where everything was more scarce, they were able. You know, people were willing to pay the higher amounts. But now, because of inflation, they're ready. They're willing to look for the lower prices. But e-commerce um, drove twenty-one point six percent of the total retail sales over the holidays in twenty twenty-two, mm -hmm. and that's slightly up from the twenty point nine percent in twenty twenty-one. So, and that's all that I had. That's all the news you have. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let me pull up some of my news. Sometimes, you know, the news gets blocked by other stuff. So I just wanted to make sure. Uh, let's go ahead and share my screen. Shall we? Hopefully this is going to work, guys. We've had all kinds of fun technical issues over the last <laughs> 30 minutes. So, yeah, let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay. Is it popping up? Is it thinking about popping up? Of course, there's a massive delay. I hate that I can't use my new mic. That just really annoys me. All right. So Kelly already talked about uh, the news about a Amazon introducing the new metrics for your listings. Um, I know that uh, Walmart had introduced something as well. I feel like we're in a tick for tack situation, but uh, Walmart introduced theirs. I want to say like last October, November, I got to go back and look. It was a while, maybe even September, just kind of giving you some tips on what you can do to improve your listing. And so Amazon followed suit, but of course they rolled those out at the beginning of the year. And as I say for the, I feel like the sixth time, probably there's going to continue to be changes with the platforms. It's just the nature of the business. It's going to happen. So you're going to have to work on embracing it so that, you know, you're not stressed out by it. They're, they have all said, all the platforms have said that they're going to invest in technology. Investing in technology means change and change means that it's going to impact you and it's going to impact buyers. Hopefully the majority of the things that they implement will not cause you too much grief. But again, if you're in this game, the one constant that you can expect is that nothing is constant and everything will change. So embrace it <laughs> and use this new metrics to help you to make more money on Amazon. If you're selling on Amazon, 
The next article comes to us from MSN and it says Macy's to permanently close its stores. I didn't fully get to read this article, but it says they will be shuttering all their stores in 2023. And I was like, okay, which aims to optimize and reposition. Like, so oh, or several. It said all at the top. The subject said all. And I was like, what? Yeah, to permanently close its stores. And they said they will shut, they're shuttering several stores in 2023. So maybe it's not all, all. But uh, the ones that are at, at the mall and off the mall locations are going to get closures. They've already said that these closures, some of these closures will be take place in Los Angeles, Colorado, uh, Maryland, Hawaii. You're going to see a lot of clearance. So if you're in Los Angeles, you can get a whole bunch of clearance more than likely. Uh, Colorado, Maryland, Hawaii. Yeah, a lot of clearance. Um, so look for that, the closures that are coming. There's probably going to be more stores that are going to have closures because the next one I think is Bed Bath & Beyond. This article comes to us from Forbes and they were talking about Bed Bath & Beyond's bare shelves um, over the holidays. And, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond struggled to be able to pay its bills and struggled to be able to pay for its inventory and it didn't accept some inventory. And so, yeah, they're just continuing to struggle. And I would not be surprised if they don't close their doors in 2023. So, uh, you know, this is not good. It was an ugly, said it was an ugly holiday for Bed Bath & Beyond, which is considering filing for bankruptcy after it said um, high out of stock levels and dwindling foot traffic were expected as a cause of the drop of 32%. From last quarter, that is a lot. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's a lot. So Bed Bath & Beyond, there's probably a great opportunity for you. You know, I probably will be doing my next Shopping for Profits at a Bed Bath & Beyond just so I can show people uh, you can find stuff there. And you can also do it online. It's uh, they, they have stuff online. They did have this little membership thing of which I paid for for the first time. Not this year, like last year or the year before last. And I like sort of regretted it because it didn't really give me as big of a discount as I wanted. But they did get my money one time. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> they got my money one time. So, oh, well, it'll be all right. Then the next one is... Um, that Amazon's seller lending business is booming, but company and not economists are worried about defaulters. So this is in Business Insider. Uh, those of you that like get your payment in advance and that kind of stuff, sort of a lending kind of practice there. So you can read up more about it. Um, you can go to Business Insider to read this article. Um, a lot of people like... We'll take advantage of that, especially during the holidays to get their cash back faster instead of waiting the two weeks to get their payments and things like that. So, again, you can go and take a look at this article. It's on Business Insider. Pretty interesting article. And then the next one, this is from Feedvisor, but I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's just, it's just a blog, and it's talking about the Amazon fees. I think Kelly had mentioned them. Um, probably before the Christmas break. And again, fees always change. I actually talked about fees the other day in one of the daily econ planning sessions. So starting on January the 17th, the FBA fulfillment fee changes and will be taking effect. And so that would be calculated and charged when shipments leave um, the Amazon fulfillment centers, which means that if a product is shipped on or after January 17th, the new FBA fees will apply. Wow. So just so you know, you're aware of it. You can read this through Feedvisor um, so that you're aware of what's coming up. If you didn't read about it before when we mentioned it, I know we mentioned it in 2022. So heads up if you're doing FBA. So. So those are the quick news pieces. I did a bunch of news while last weekend with Kel, uh, without Kelly. So if you didn't get a chance, you can watch the previous uh, podcast and check out that. So now we're going to transition over just before tips. I just want to tell you what's going on with e-com sellers. And then we're going to get into the tips. So we're going to talk about uh, print on demand and the tips. Before we get into that, let me see if my Google slide is going to respond. 
before things were in an endless loop and it looks like we're back to the endless loop. Ah, fantastic. I know, I know nothing is working today. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is a mess. Nothing is cooperating. Nothing is working. Yes, the screen is black. The screen will come back at some point. Just give it a second. Here it goes. <laughs> Yay. Yay. All right, guys. So um just want to tell you what's going on with e-com sellers in general. There's just a lot of stuff that we want to, we're doing a little differently in 2023. Uh, right now, I feel like in my prayer, this is my prayer, that we actually do have a good team, a strong team um, on the e-com seller side, as far as my VAs are concerned. We made a transition of a VA last year and another one at the end of the year. And so it kind of changes things. But in any case, let's talk about what's going on with e-com sellers. So, you know, my motto, my theme for 2023 is that we're going to move differently in 2023. So that's the goal. And I encourage you to move differently. Think about your business differently. Make some different decisions. So the first thing starting next week is that we're going to actually do some posts about the book of the month. And we're going to talk about the book of the month and we're going to focus on a specific chapter each month. Hopefully you will you know, grab that book and read that chapter and we'll have some conversations about them. More than likely, they'll be inside of the e-commerce planning Facebook group. So there'll be a thread and probably a link for you to be able to talk and share your thoughts about the chapter that we'll be reading. So we're only doing, I know we're doing the slow version of this <laughs> because it doesn't take you a month to read a chapter or a section or whatever. So we're going to more than likely do like a chapter a week or something like that. And then that way we can get through a couple of books, like a book in two or three, two months, maybe three. Depends on how many chapters are in it. But just giving people the opportunity, that, since you're an e-commerce seller and you're also doing other things, you wear many other hats like I do. I'm a parent. I'm also the vice president of a nonprofit and I do other stuff. So because my life is so full and so busy, uh, we're going to take the slow road to read these books. So if you want to jump on board, you'll see the post. We invite you to join us as we read the book. We're not going to read it in the Facebook group. We're going to allow you to read it at your own pace and you can come and join the discussion and we'll post when the discussion is going to be and a link to it, but we'll tell you what chapter we're reading, which book and what chapter, and we invite you to join us. Next, uh, we're going to have webinar Wednesdays. They're going to be bi-weekly. They're not going to be every single week. And um, you'll have to register for it, but it'll be open to everybody. So if you want to come and learn something, it'll be a 30-minute webinar on a specific thing, whether it's learning how to do a specific software, learning how to create a specific image, learning how to use a specific tool. Um, it's going to be 30 minutes. And we may also have some demonstrations from other service providers that come and join us on Webinar Wednesday. So it'll be bi-weekly. So be on the lookout for Webinar Wednesdays. I'm looking forward to setting that up and moving that forward in 2023. The next one is something that's been on my heart. I wanted to do this last year and I didn't do it. And so I'm going to do it this year. I don't know who's going to show up. I don't know who's going to participate. I don't know how it's going to go. But Sunday evenings, um, we're going to have a discussion. It doesn't have to be necessarily a Bible study. Um, we're going to be following the Entrepreneur Series. There's a, couple, a few different Entrepreneur Series inside of Bible.com. And so we're going to just allow people that are on this journey that want to participate to join um, inside of Bible.com, like you can go through a series. They normally have them broken down by days. This is a seven day series. It's a three day series. It's a 10 day series, whatever. And so we're going to take those days and convert them into weeks. Cause again, we're entrepreneurs. We wear multiple hats and there's other stuff that we got going on. So it gives you an opportunity to meditate on that particular, uh, topic instead of uh, meditating on it for a day, you get to meditate on it for a week. And then we'll come together on Sunday and just have a talk about it. I'm just going to tell you, I am not a Bible scholar. I am not a Bible study leader. I am not a theologian. I am not, <laughs> I am not a lot of things. I am just a mom and a mother and a person and a woman who reads the Bible. And so I just want to read the Bible with other people that are on the entrepreneur journey and want to learn what the Bible has to say about being an entrepreneur. So I think it'll be interesting. Um, and it's, you know, there's no, nothing else is happening other than 
just going through that section. So I would encourage you, if you don't have a Bible.com account, you can go ahead and sign up for it and you can pull up Bible.com on your desktop and you can also install the app. And when you install the app and you open it up, it'll be under UVerse. And we're going to go through some of the entrepreneur scriptures or programs, the study programs that are inside of Bible.com. So if you're interested, we're going to share some information on where you can sign up and join us. And you'll be able to follow along as we go through this series. Uh, and there's multiple series on entrepreneurs, trust me. And then uh, last but not least in 2023, we're going to offer a live monthly Q&A. If there's a question you want to ask, if there's information you want to know, We'll post so you can submit your questions or you can ask your questions under a specific thread. And then we'll come through and answer those questions live. So um, looking forward to that, giving you the opportunity to ask whatever you want to ask and uh, submit your questions and we'll answer them live. So hopefully you'll participate. Um, it's another opportunity for you to participate. So all of these are yeah. your participation is either encouraged or... Uh, suggested or whatever. Okay, Nicholas. <laughs> um, your participation is also, you know, it's optional. If you don't want to participate, that's fine. So the book of the month, yeah, it'll be an open Facebook group and you'll be able to come and join that discussion more than likely, like I said, in e-commerce planning. The webinar Wednesdays, you will be required to register. The Bible study, there will be a link so that that way we will send the information out to those people who really want it. We're not going to uh, saturate everything else. So we'll put it in our newsletter once and um, a couple of times, and then we'll also uh, share it on our Facebook wall a couple of times and that's it. So if you're interested, just get on the list and we can, you can join us. And then the live Q and A's, you'll hear about that and give you an opportunity to gather your questions so we can answer your questions. The next thing in 2023 is that we're going to offer, uh, oh, sorry, Kelly, was there anything you thought about any of those four things that I said we're going to do in 2023? No, oh, it sounds really interesting. I like that Bible study. I think it'll be good. I was wanting to do it last year and I talked to Renata about it. We just, we never made it happen. So anyway, God is like, you need to move differently in 2023. I'm like, okay, God, I'm listening. <laughs> All right. So we're going to have a live event here in Dallas, Fort Worth, and we hope that you'll join us more than likely. It's going to be in August. So there'll be plenty of lead up time to when the event happens. So again, we're going to have a live event. In addition to that, we're bringing back Second Saturdays. I don't know if you guys know what Second Saturday is, but if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Second Saturday is when we actually get together and go shopping for profits. So I do, a, like, we'll meet up at a specific store or a specific location, and we'll actually do shopping for profits. There's several stores in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, and uh, there's several opportunities. So we'll try to mix it up. We got it started sort of in 2020. And then COVID hit, and then we just kind of weren't able to do it at all. My son wants something in my office, <laughs> so he's all <laughs> over my desk. I don't know if you heard him or not, but he was definitely in my office. In any case, um, so um, we're bringing back Second Saturdays. If you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, or if you're within driving distance and you want to come hang out with us, it will always be on a second Saturday of the month. Uh, we're only going to do eight of them in 2023. So that means there'll be four months where we won't do one. Um, but we'll only do eight in a month, um, eight in a year. And I invite you to come out and hang out with us. And this year, I'm going to work to actually have a local Christmas party or a local Christmas get together where we can actually get together, maybe exchange, do a white elephant and exchange gifts at the end of the year. Uh, that was so fun. And we may also do something after the after Christmas clearance. So if you didn't get a chance to take advantage of the clearance, that's the one thing me and Kelly should have told you is that there's a whole bunch of clearance out there. <laughs> including <laughs> the Dollar Tree. They had a bunch of clearance for 25 cents, guys. Like there's a bunch of clearance. They don't want to send that stuff back to the warehouse. So if you want to take advantage of some clearance and, you know, it's going to work out for you for next year, especially if you're doing bundles, take advantage of the clearance. But I know this is not the screen to talk about that. So next is inside of Ecom Sellers Academy. If you're a member of Ecom Sellers Academy, our goal is to serve you better in 2023 and serve you more. So um, if you're not a member, we encourage you to join us. We're going to be doing print on demand series uh, for sure. Um, sessions. Normally we do sessions, either it's a one part series or a two part series. 
And so the print on demand one is actually going to be a three part series. We're going to actually break that out. But in any case, uh, we're going to do drop shipping, liquidation, inventory, um, e commerce, affiliate marketing, wholesale, product research, thrifting. We're also going to do listing optimization. There's going to be a listing optimization one. Um, thrifting, bundles, and multi packs. We're going to be talking about the the listing, the images, and also ideas. How do you come up with ideas? Arbitrage, we're going to be covering retail and online arbitrage. White label, looking forward to that one. Um, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace. Um, I didn't include Walmart, and I meant to add Walmart, but we will be covering Walmart in 2023. In addition to that, Google Shopping, and we're going to go into a new territory. We're going to talk about some of those live shopping sites and what do you need to do to get started, what they are, and what do you need to do to get started on them, like what not comments sold. We are going to also cover some accounting and bookkeeping and talk about virtual assistants. So we have a lot that if you're an Academy member, or if you don't know, Academy members get live training every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and they're live in the Facebook group and or live uh, via link. So if you want to become an Academy member, it is terribly affordable. You can go ahead and join, or you can sign up for the lifetime and get a free e-commerce planner. I'm just going to say that. Then um, we are going to do product bundles list. Oh, we so right now, sorry, I had to think about what that was. So right now, get, <laughs> right now Academy members get a retail online arbitrage leads list. They get an arbitrage leads list. 10 leads every single week, and then they get 10 wholesale supplier leads every single week. Well, we're going to introduce a bundles list to them every single week. Um, these are our products that we've identified, especially when we go out on Friday night, um, that are bundle opportunities in real time. And so they're going to get a couple of bundle leads list every single week, and um, that's going to go to Academy members. So I'm looking forward to that. If we come up with a lot of products and we expand that, then we may actually offer it as a separate standalone list, but yeah, product leads list. So product bundles list, sorry. So those are bundle opportunities. Most, most likely they'll either be uh, bundles that we found that already exist that you can piggyback off of or bundles that are really multi-packs that you have an opportunity to jump on top of. And there will be some raw bundles that'll be in there as well. The last thing is that because we do have a new VA team, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, they will, will be working on updating materials to go in your back office and or creating new materials to go in your back office. So the goal is for us to be a blessing to you in 2023. That's ultimately what I want to do. And I'm praying that it all works out. So if you'll pray along with me, um, hopefully everything will work out the way that we need it to. And we want it to. I feel like we have a strong team now. And that's my hope, my prayer, my wish. So I'll just say that. Then inside of Ecom Sellers Mastery, we have uh, we're going to take a deep dive in four areas. There might be a fifth one. I haven't decided yet because um, these normally t these are like six to eight week long courses or at least six to eight you know classes. And so there are a lot. There's a, there's a lot more to them. But one of them we're definitely covering is virtual assistants. I keep getting asked about that. Um, and people are asking me, how do you, you know, how do you set them up and how do you operate with them and what do they do for you and all this other stuff. So we're going to pull back the covers, pull back the sheets and the blinds and uh, show you what I do and how I do what I do and how I work with my VA teams and how we're structured and how we communicate with each other. You know, once I find them, how I vet them, what's the training period, um, what are the training uh, standard operating procedures look like? Like, I'm going to go through all of that and you're going to get to see my stuff. So if you're interested in that virtual assistant workshop, not really workshop course that's coming out. Um, you can definitely sign up for that. It's going to be well worth it if you plan on getting a VA in 2023. In addition to that, um, we're going to take a deep dive into print on demand. There's so many opportunities there. And we're going to do bundles and subscriptions. So this is what I will say. If you took the print on demand last summer, you get to participate in the print on demand in 2023 for free. If you took the bundles uh, series, the series, the one that's like, I think it's eight classes or 12 classes or whatever, and you took that in 2022, then you can participate in the bundles workshop for absolutely free. So there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to sign up because it's free for them. And that's the one thing about mastery is like, if we go through a series and then we cover it again, you get to participate absolutely free. So hopefully, um, you know, we'll get some more people to sign up. Um, I got a glowing 
uh, review from someone who took the quick uh, bundles workshop that I did. I think it's like three hours, two or three hours long just for the holidays. And she said she made a whole bunch of money from the little, that bundles workshop. It was a three hour workshop, two and a half, three hours long. And uh, she said she made a bunch of money. So I'm just saying, I actually do give you the deeds. And then we're also going to cover white label. I would say uh, private label, but the reality is it's really taking a product and branding it that already exists out there in the universe and then putting your name on it. So we're going to talk through what that looks like and we're going to do a course on that because I think a lot of people are teaching private label, but it's really white label. Um, and we're, if you wanted to learn true private label, private label, definitely have a person that I suggest that you take their course. But if you want to learn how to find products and then make it your own, then, you know, we can go through that white label uh, workshop. So that's going to be uh, later on this year. And then, of course, we're having our live event and we're going to be updating materials and templates in the back office of Mastery. Now that I have a, I think I have a full team, pretty sure. <laughs> so I hope that's a blessing. I hope somebody's excited about it. Kelly, what do you think about Academy and Mastery? Sounds like it's going to be you know, very good. I, you know, interesting to see on some of this stuff, you know. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to get into eight print on demand product ideas. So if you've not done print on demand, um, just want to encourage you. There's some opportunities out there in the print on demand space. It's not just t-shirts. So with that, I'm going to let Kelly take number one. T-shirts. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, you can do other besides T-shirts. You can do hats. You can do socks. I know one guy, I don't know um, if he does, I don't know if he does it through a company or something, if he has it, if he has a print, print stuff at home. But he does socks. That's what he specializes is these socks that are custom, customized socks. And... Like he, you know, people have like their logos that they made for their YouTube channel and he'll bake the socks with their YouTube channel logo on them. So, yeah, you can, you know, people, you know, will want their, there's, you know, they want that stuff. They want that stuff that's what's uh, for things that they're passionate about because, you know, you can't go to the, to the Walmart and find, um, too much stuff on um i don't know um because you'll find cats and dogs but maybe you like parrots that so you have a parrot and you want a parrot shirt but you can't really find too many parrot shirts so you know you could go on and make those parrot shirts for those parrot lovers out there you know <laughs> there you go well, and there's just so many accessories. Like, again, we already know T-shirts, but then there's hoodies and jackets and mm -hmm. um, sweatshirts. And, um, you know, she did mention socks. There's leggings. A lot of people don't even realize that. Onesies for babies. Like, there's so many different opportunities when it comes to clothing. And then when we talk about accessories, like, I don't know. Some people don't know that there's print-on-demand watches and print-on-demand jewelry. All of that is part of the print on demand space. There's a lot of opportunities there. And see, um, my daughter made, she, she didn't do print on demand. She just went to the, well, she works at Hobby Lobby, so she doesn't have to go very far, but she made earrings for all the ladies in our, in our family for Christmas. And like, she made in specific, like I have a, a niece who does dance. So she made ballet slipper earrings for her, you know, she made specific to what they like and such. That's what I love about print on demand. There's so many opportunities. So just talking through some of these. All right. The next one is electronic accessories. So this is like your covers for your phone cases. You've all seen those, those little pop sockets that are customized and the um, laptop covers that are customized and even laptop bags and, uh, the backpacks that have, that are custom. There's, you know, again, things that you can customize. I've seen uh, people get custom um, charger extensions, whatever, um, so that they can charge their phone. And also, I don't know about the charge pads yet, but again, those little accessories, the, the, the cord, and, you know, they'll have something on either, either end that is unique or special or customized for them. 
So accessories. Can you think of anything else, Kelly? No, oh, it doesn't have to be just phones. It can be for like tablets and yes, laptops. But... Yeah, absolutely. All right, next one. Home decor. So you can have like, um, you can design stuff with with you with initials. Like people like to put, you know, maybe a star with their last name initial to be hung outside of their house or, you know, in, you know, such like that and stuff to hang on the walls. That's, and if you're really artistic, you can have, you can make your artwork to be sold that way. Yeah, that's true. You also have pillows, throw rugs, uh, throw blankets, all of those. There's print on demand options there for those who don't know, which is awesome. So, and as Kelly was saying, stuff to go on the wall, like sometimes parents will, when they have a new baby or, or a new dog, a new puppy, like they will have some, um, like something metal made and um, specifically with that person's name or neon light. I've seen that, so that it's specifically made only when the person buys it. And so it'll be a neon light with the person's name that's plugged up. And so there's just so many cool things when it comes to decor, home decor, um, that you can buy or have made. Kitchen. Kitchen. Um, you can do lots of stuff in the kitchen. You can do coffee mugs is a big thing to make yep. um, print on demand coffee mugs. So you can do coffee mugs. You can do plates. You can do um, cutting boards. Cutting boards. Um, oh. What do you call them? Utensils. The, <laughs> the tongs and the spatulas and the... Yeah. The... Um, Spatulas, yeah. Also, you know, the coffee's running out in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We've been messing with this uh, technology for too long. <laughs> so yeah. we're both tired. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. But yeah, just know that there's a lot of options. The things that go in your kitchen or can that can be made custom for your kitchen. And you can do that with print on demand. Hobbies and sports, um, you know, I don't know if you know that you can do print on demand baseballs, basketballs, your uh, baseball glove, your bat, your like there's so many different things. In addition to your outfit, your uh, outerwear, just, you know, you've seen teams where they all get their custom shirt, of course, but the equipment can be print on demand as well, including golf clubs, the golf club covers. And the golf club case, like all of that, you can do print on demand, customized to that person or to whoever is receiving it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Digital. So you can do stuff for digital printouts. So you can do you can do digital planner sheets. You could do digital um, homeschool paper. You can do, you know, digital. Bible study uh, work work pages. So, and that's not, you know, you don't have to worry about being printed out. You know, you make it and then they buy it and it's boom, it's in their, it's in their uh, inbox within a few minutes. So. And the digital that I'm talking about is the online stuff, of course, because this is the stuff that you can actually buy and use online. Mm-hmm. And I do have printables, which is the stuff that you buy, uh -huh. and you use, and you print it out, and you use it offline. Yeah. <laughs> so I covered two of them. <laughs> yes, you covered both of them. But that's okay. But the great thing is, is that, again, print on demand gives there's a limitless number of things that you can do. Um, I know the thing that's selling right now is, of course, affirmations for the new year and a lot of the goal planning things for the new year, planners and calendars and notebooks around the new year and establishing goals. And there's just so many of those that are selling right now that are printables and or digital versions. So all great opportunities for you if you want to get into the print on demand space, for sure. So I guess um, you can do journals, blank journals and bullet journals. Bullet journals are very popular right now. 
uh, that you can have made, you know, specifically with a certain design on the front and or like I said, you could do your own artwork and have that put on the front. And it's just a blank book for someone to write down their thoughts and such. And I'm sure Nicole has other books that she could think of, but that's all <laughs> I can think of right now. Well, cookbooks for sure. And think about all the smoothie recipe books and uh, just, you know, home improvement books or hack books. Uh, all those, you know, those hack videos, convert those into hack books. If somebody wants to sit there and write it up as a book and you can, you know, produce your own book, you can use KDP or you can use Lulu. And there's so many other book, uh, ba book baby, I think it is, or baby book baby, I think is what it is. But anyway, there's just so many book printers out there. Or if you want to write your own book, um, if you want to write your own, um, you know, your own fiction book, or you want to do uh, something more nonfiction you can do that crossword puzzle uh crossword puzzle books uh coloring books um just image books of specific things photo books so again things that you can sell as an e-commerce seller and just doing print on demand so many things and i'm sure kelly has some great recipes she can make a great recipe book <laughs> <laughs> It's called, I take them from the blogs and I have a little, I get the little uh, sheet, sheet protectors and I print out the recipes I like from the blogs and put it in a binder. There you go. See, so she can convert that into a book. Uh, that'd be taking someone else's recipes. That wouldn't be my well, recipes. It wouldn't be your recipe, but you can You have your own spin on that recipe. I'm sure you're not following it to the T. Like <laughs> banana pudding. Here's the deal. It, everyone has seen, a, you can do a Google search on a, a recipe for banana pudding. You can make your own version. <laughs> so just saying. Uh, my but, banana pudding is a recipe I learned while I worked at Randall's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. So we invite you all, if you're interested in taking the print on demand workshop, it's just a three part series. It's inside the e-commerce sellers Academy. This is not the mastery eight course series. This is actually just a three part series where we're going to talk about printables and um, then we're going to talk about physical products and we're going to talk about unique products. And uh, it's a three uh, part series, um, print on demand products. You can sell on pretty much any platform that you want to. So it's not platform specific, but we will tell you some tips for each one of the platforms. So if you want to sign up, it's going to be inside of the Ecom Sellers Academy. Um, it is January the 17th is when it starts at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can go and register right now at SWIY.co forward slash all caps, P-O-D-E-S-A. P-O-D, that's Print On Demand, Ecom Sellers Academy, P-O-D-E-S-A, and 0123. Again, SWIY.co forward slash P O D E S A in caps zero one two three, and you'll be able to register for the three part series. If you're already an academy member, you get this absolutely free. So sign up to become an academy member so that you can get the workshops for absolutely free. And if you want to get the replay for the 2023 annual e commerce planning workshop, you can definitely go get that now. You can sign, you can go to SWIY.co forward slash 2023 replay. Again, SWIY.co 2023 replay and go and download and listen to the 2023 annual e commerce planning workshop. And then we have the 2023 econ planner. You can get the 2023 Ecom Planner. It's the ultimate e-commerce planner. You can go to myecomplanner.com to go and get yours today. Again, go to myecomplanner.com to get the 2023 Ecom Planner. All right. And last but not least, if you want to sign up for Ecom Sellers Academy, there's an opportunity for you to sign up for the lifetime. You can sign up for the lifetime and get a free e-commerce planner, or you can sign up for just the monthly. Um, if you sign up, you have to go to ecomsellersacademy.com to either sign up for the lifetime or to sign up for the week, the monthly. So either one of those, we invite you to come hang out with us. And if you're looking for some support when it comes to being able to find products in 2023, you can sign up for Ecom Sellers Academy RAOA leads list. 
get the leads list, you get 200 leads per month, 20 leads a week at $50 a month. Again, 200 leads per month, $50 a month is the cost. And that's 50 leads every week for you to use to go out and make some money right now. So with that, Kelly, I hate that I couldn't use my new mic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate that I couldn't use my new mic. Very annoyed by that. I'm going to plug it in real quick and just say hello. See if you're, if it's still kicking you out. You know, everything is fickle. All right. Can you say hello? Can you say hello? She's gone. Okay. The mic. <laughs> So my name is Nicole Whitlock and I'm Kelly's Ecom Mom Ward. There you go, Kelly. And this is the Ecom Sellers Podcast. We do this every Monday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We invite you to come back, hang out with us again in the next Ecom Sellers Podcast. Share this out with a friend. Let somebody else know about it. And we hope that you will join us in next week's Ecom Sellers Podcast. We're going to say goodbye for now. Bye, y'all. <laughs>